sure this is. Now let's bought it. BIT Air Scale. Real weights, real time, real fast. Installs in minutes, 99% accurate. Works on air suspensions. Used with drop and hook trailers. One sensor on your tractor and one on your trailer will give steer, drive, trailer, gross, and cargo weights. So, it looks like, well, you have to have, if you want steer, you have to have a uh, air ride front axle if you want steer weights because it won't tell you. Well, that looks easy enough. So, this goes in your airline on your airbags. And then you just install the app. Simple enough. All you do is just splice into your airline. Let's look at the rest of it. All right, well, that's simple enough. It's uh, app based, so you download an app, and then all you do is just splice these in your airlines and your airbags. And I believe that these are like, uh, this is like probably like a Bluetooth sensor. And all you do is pop these in, download the app. You got codes on here that you can scan, or I think there's other ways of doing it. There's little numbers on here. And yeah, basically, one on the drives, one on the trailer, and then you have to calibrate it. So you need to get an empty weight from what it says. They want an empty weight, and then they want a, uh, you know, loaded weight, and that's how you calibrate it. Kind of like, your, you know, your air, your air scales on your truck that you have with the gauge. It's no different, but it's done on here. So we'll go ahead and install these guys on the truck and on the trailer, and then uh, we'll play with it. So now we have to go install our sensors. I am unhooking the truck. I have to unhook the truck because you gotta get to the airbags. So the lines and currently the truck is hooked up to the trailer. So it's kind of a pain to get to. Once the truck is not hooked up to the trailer, it's very easily accessible. trailer and we have to find the good suitable spot to put this sensor in and it doesn't really matter because this all gets pressure from the bags and this one is where it's teed into my analog gauge so we're gonna put it on the right side and then I'm gonna kind of go like right here and splice this guy in now the problem with what I have to do this job with is just the regular exacto knife now it'll get the job done but you got to be careful making your cuts and make sure that it's straight your best bet is to get a tubing cutter and cut straight i used to have a tubing cutter i actually used to have two but i also have children that take my stuff and i don't know where it went so we're gonna go and uh go ahead with this guy Although we got a decently straight cut. Right, we got our liner. And we got our other liner. 
that's all there's to it. So our trailer one is installed and that's all there's to it. We don't have any leaks because we'd hear it. So that's all there's to it. You literally just cut the line and it's a quick connector and you pop that guy in. So our trailer is done. Now we gotta do the truck. So as a lot of you guys already know, Fancy Hawk does have analog gauges inside the cab and also on our trailer. This kit, it does not use the gauges. It's all through the app. Because it's through an app, it is so much easier to install and use because you're not having to get out of your trailer to check your weights, which is the main reason I got this for Martin. Um, and you don't need to spend that extra time installing the gauges. All right, guys, Fancy is unhooked. We are ready to cut some airlines. Which one will Martin choose? I don't know. So when you dump your bags in a truck, you're pretty much good to go because you don't have any air back here. As long as you have a dump switch on your truck. That's probably gonna be a good spot. So what I notice about these is they also give you these caps in here. So I think this is like a tire pressure monitoring sensor. And uh, I feel that you can undo it. So they're replaceable, looks like and uh they come with a little cap so this is like a valve stem so if this ever fails i don't think it's going to just go and blow out and start leaking on you i know they have like a eld app that opens up a whole lot of other like diagnostic things that you can do yeah and i think tire monitoring ties in with that as well yeah. it's actually a pretty neat little uh eld app from what yeah. i've so, i looked on the website i think that's where we're going to put it i think we're going to go right here A nice flat spot. This is just the push lock so again not much to it and then one goes here you know it's in there for good but anyway oh that looks clean i like it look at that that's our install that looks good now i'm gonna go supply the air back to the back so i'm not gonna start the truck because there's plenty of air in it so i'm gonna raise them up and we're gonna check for leaks I think it's leak free it's leak free now you guys saw that wasn't like the straightest cut either so it, it doesn't have to be like perfectly centered but you want to get it as good as you can because if you do get it like at a 90 degree angle or or you just cut it in half like like a 180 degree angle yeah that's gonna leak so there's no leaks trailer is done truck's done and now all you got to do is just um, I think we have to add these sensors on the app and then uh, go find a scale. Go find a scale and calibrate it, and basically, we'll always know exactly what we have on our drives. Also, when you do calibrate it, you have to be parked somewhere level. You don't want to be parked somewhere where, you know, the trailer's going this way, truck's going that way, or your airbags, or you're parked in a ditch where your truck's not straight. You want the truck and the trailer to be straight, and you want it to be sitting level when you do calibrate it. So, you want to find a nice level spot to do it. One of the really neat benefits about this and another reason why I chose this system for him is because he will not need to go visit scales once this is dialed in. That's going to save us money like each time he doesn't have to do that. So I think a scale ticket these days is what about 15 bucks. So it adds up, especially if you're somebody that needs to use the scales often. Um, how long does it take for you to spend 600 bucks, right? I think it's going to make life a lot easier for him. And um, I really like that this promises 
an accuracy within 200 pounds. Because a lot of these loads, like that hay load, you guys remember that hay load? That was heavy. He was, he was just about at his gross max with that hay load. If he had these scales, I mean, maybe he could even throw in an extra bale on because they paid by the weight. So um, I think it's a good system. So we got our scale ticket, and you saw we calibrated our scales now for the empty weight. And tomorrow, when we uh, get loaded, we're gonna get our loaded weight. So we don't get loaded till tomorrow. So for you guys, it'll be quick. For me, it'll be a day. <laughs> but pretty simple so far. Got the sensors to, uh, just get the sensors to uh, read on your app and then just calibrate it and then loaded calibration and you're good. And it's that easy. It's a pretty awesome product, Wooing Tech. Go check them out, guys. It's definitely, definitely a thing to have when you're a flat better reefer guy or somewhere out in the boonies. Getting loaded, it's gonna save you a lot of time. So now I head next. We'll do heavy load calibration. Well, what do you like to reselect? Drive axle is 14,460, and our trailer axle is 12,760. And then we'll save. probably good on that so that's what we are loaded a whopping 5,000 or no actually 8,000 pounds on the deck all right guys so we ran into one teensy tiny minor problem with the scale sensor I'm gonna go show it to you guys right now and the solution so <clears throat> we have this extension harness here for the scales for the sensor and what this does is it helps you to get a better signal and on trailers with an open deck that have a beam it's pretty hard to get a good reading from the sensor so this is where this comes in and you can remount mount it almost anywhere up there anywhere but the problem with my trailer is well, this guy this guy is in the way and it blocks the sensor. So you all want to just route it somewhere where it's kind of, you know, accessible. And that's what we're going to do with that. You got a T, plugs into the airbag lines, and then the sensor plugs into this, and you can just run it anywhere. I think that this, if for anybody that has their own trailer, this is probably, even if you have like side skirts on a, on a van, I believe that this is probably going to be the best solution to the sensor readings. I agree, because we know someone else that has this kit and he does have those side skirts on his uh, van trailer and he does yes. have a little bit of interference problems with those. So, so definitely if you order this, um, ask them for the extension kit. Definitely ask for the extension kit. Yeah. So on our trailer, we have these awesome little grommets where we can run all down the cross members and just feed it through and then find a good spot where we want to poke it out. So that's what we're going to do. So we can run them through here and all the cross members. 
and we can go all the way down the trailer. We are under the trailer right now. That's my wife. So this is our, this is our sensor. We're gonna put it on that end. But I need to pull this T splice out. Plug this guy in. Mounting it there? Yep. Alrighty. And I got it zip tied underneath. I think this will be a good spot for it to read. So in theory, the cable's long enough. I mean, it could have actually like went into the Symmetrex cab. Um, not that anyone would do that, well, but I mean, you don't want to do that. They, no, you don't. So, but they give you plenty of length where you can you can run it all the way up to the front if you if you wanted to yep. but that should be perfect here and i got a zip tight underneath over there so i think this will be a good spot for it to read so uh let's see if it reads yep it's still connected so the problem i had before is the trailer would not connect okay now, that being said, aluminum big deck and the steel beams on a flatbed were blocking the signal on the sensor, on the Bluetooth. So now with that sensor move closer and out from away, away from those beams and kind of out in the open element where you can read, I can actually, I'm actually connected to it. I'm actually connected to it. So that's awesome. I can get my uh, weights from inside the cab while as I'm getting loaded. So I like that. The trailer extension, if you have your own trailer, I, I, I will say it's a must. Put it on run it somewhere outside on by the rail of the trailer and you'll, you'll have a continuous reading. Well, I'll say the customer service is awesome because we reach out to them and within minutes they're responding to us. Oh email, yeah, for sure. Like right away. And we tell them, Hey, we're, we're having a problem with the trailer connecting because I think it's a signal problem. It's like, well, we have an extension for that. Yeah. Send so. it over. They put it in the mail. We got it like two days later. No, they overnighted it. Oh, so, did they overnight? Yeah, they overnight. So again, you know, if you buy these things on Amazon, you're not going to get that kind of service. So they're right here in America. I love supporting businesses in America, um, working with them uh, because you get that extra customer service, you get that extra support. All right. So fun new toy. I like new toys. I like it too. It's yeah. going to definitely help out. It's good. It's a helpful product. Yeah. So excited to see how it works for us, and uh, we'll keep updating you guys on it. You know, when Martin gets a chance to use it, we'll we'll, we'll mention it and let you know if we still like it. Yep. Alright, thanks for watching. Thanks guys. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag. <clears throat> well, that's simple enough to me. That's pretty cool. So basically, this is app based. And these are quick connects, so you just cut. Let's redo that. No <laughs> go, 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 shade, no, no, no.